Senior members of the royal family have still not met the newest arrival, five days after his birth. Prince Charles and Camilla, along with William and Kate have not been to visit the first child of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, baby Archie Harrison. The seventh in line to the throne was born at 5.26 a.m. on Monday, and it had been hinted that grandfather Charles and wife Camilla would call in on Meghan and Harry today, after returning from their trip to Germany. The couple are now set to visit next week, with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge not far behind. Speaking to The Sun, Clarence House said Charles and Camilla would visit in the coming days, while a spokesperson for the Sussexes said William and Kate were in the diary to stop by at Frogmore Cottage. Mail Online contacted Kensington Palace, but they had no comment to make at this time. Earlier this week Prince William, 36, said both he and Kate, 37, couldn't wait to meet their nephew. Elsewhere ex-rugby star Mike Tindall, has said he believes that Harry will be a good father, especially when it comes to nappy changing duties. Mr. Tindall, 40, has two daughters with Princess Anne's daughter Zara Phillips and said, I think he will be a good dad. The Queen was the first member of the royal family to be introduced to the baby, along with Prince Philip and Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland. Harry and Meghan have chosen not to give their son a courtesy title. However, a royal decree made over 100 years ago by the Queen's grandfather George V in 1917, means that Archie will automatically gain HRH status, as will all grandchildren on the direct male line of the sovereign.